So today I'm back with a mass pad review. I got this a couple of weeks ago. I believe it might have been New Year's Eve. I'm not sure, but yeah, I've had it for a couple weeks. It is the Artisan Raiden Mid XL. So while I reviewed the pad, I was gonna compare it to uh, some of the other Artisan pads because I've used, you know, a few of them. So in terms of build quality, seems pretty perfect. Uh, I mean, there was nothing wrong with the surface of the pad, um, and I haven't had any spin outs. And it seemed like the stitching is like pretty pristine, even though I don't really care about that, but yeah. I would say that the stickiness of the base is pretty serviceable. Yeah, I haven't really any had any problems with my Raiden moving, aside from like maybe tilting a little to one direction or moving just, you know, like a quarter of an inch, I don't know. It, it's not really noticeable. It doesn't really shift when you use it. At least uh, I haven't, and I've been playing with an arm sleeve. Okay, so for the size, I think the size is pretty serviceable. Um, it could be like maybe a little bigger, like 500 by 500. I don't know. I think it'll be fine with this size. It's not even... It's definitely not small. If I was to compare it to the other artisan sizes, I would probably say don't get anything below like a large, because I've tried every size besides medium. And yeah, even the large is just really not big enough. So if you just want the pad, like no matter what, then maybe you can settle for the large. But in general, I'd say just wait for the XL. It's like so much more worth it. I'm actually a big fan of the mid surface. This is my second mid artisan pad. The first one was the Otsu mid. I didn't really like that one. Uh, like I don't know. I don't know why. Both surfaces are really like stiff, you know, like as a mid would be. But I feel like there's like a teeny little bit of give on the Raiden, and with the Otsu, it was just kind of like I don't know. Like I'm playing on like a table or something. I just didn't enjoy the, the texture. But with the mid on the Raiden, I just enjoy like, it's not too hard. You know, it's not like a hard pad. But there's like a little bit of squish that just feels nice. Yeah, I think mid is just like pretty respectable. Oh yeah. Consistency across the pad is really good. It's like really like smooth and like kind of like flat. Like under lighting, you can see there's kind of like a pattern, but it's like really buttery. And because of that, it's like, it can be kind of easy for like dust or, or something like dirt, like to settle on top of it. But it's also really easy to just like wipe it off or just kind of like smack it off. And it, it goes off pretty easily. In terms of texture, this is probably like my favorite or second favorite from Artisan with the Zero X off, just cause it feels like I'm holding like fucking underwear or some shit. It's like so fucking soft and plushy. I, I do like the soft he in and I'm not someone who's like, you know, super complaining about like the sandpaper of the surface, but I would still, I still opt to go with something like the Raiden. So with friction, I heard people say that this pad is like, you know, really buttery smooth and it's like really easy to adjust and stuff. And that is true. But I feel like even like from right out the box, there was like a little bit of like stopping power, like maybe like a one or two out of 10. Like it's like not really there, but it's like, it's barely there. Like it's not anything to like insanely help you out, but it's just fucking there, you know? Like overall, I'd say it's, a, it's at least an eight or nine out of 10 in terms of like how frictionless it is. I feel like I'm picking up like all the texture on the pad, like whether it's like just the pad or like maybe like a speck of dust or something. And that could be because of the mouse feet. But yeah, it's just interesting. It definitely has the most like glide or speed from any other pad I had. Cause like the Zero X soft just can't compete cause it's insanely fucking slow. And in terms of like the soft Heen I had, I just don't think the Heen is like fast enough to compete with this this is just fucking crazy it sucks because my my mouse is wired for now but yeah it would be fucking crazy if i could spin it out in my opinion it's perfect for pretty much anything 
but if I had to recommend it for a game, I'd probably say for like Overwatch or something. Cause like you have some like moments where you might have to macro adjust, but also like you might have to like track like an insane amount just cause there's so much shit going on in the game. I would honestly recommend it for like any type of FP FPS though. Like I think it's all up to you to make value of like the the little stopping power that it has. I don't think it would be too fast for like Valorant or something like that, like CSGO. This pad just takes like a bit of a while to get used to, especially coming from like regular, you know, like soft X soft kind of pads. So it can be a bit drawing to get used to, but even for a, a game like CS or Val, I definitely think that it's one of the best pads out there right now. Right now. The thing that I just love like above anything else is probably just how like free the pad feels. Like I, I've never thought of like calling a pad like fun, but it's just been fucking fun to like swipe all the way across and like, yeah, just have like complete control, which is a good and a bad thing depending on how good you are. Also an update with the uh, learning fingertip grip for anyone who cares. So at first I kind of like gave up on that uh, and I was kind of just trying to go back to my like regular like claw, but after a bunch of comments on my last video, I've been like taking suggestions and stuff. And so I've tried putting like my palm on the desk and then just kind of like maneuvering it like this. And it feels like I have so much more like range of motion and like control. Cause I don't know how I was doing it before. Maybe I was like floating my wrist or something, but something felt off and I can never like quite control like my fingers as much as I wanted to. But when you do this, I kind of like anchors it in and like I feel like it's so much easier to maneuver it. It's still like weird and I have to get used to it because yeah I've just been used to like kind of like clawing or whatever but yeah I, like I th I'm not lying like with the fingertip grip on this mouse on this mouse pad like I felt like the most accurate that I ever have like without a doubt like like there's like hitting insane shots but then there's like knowing exactly like how and why you hit that insane shot like okay that guy popped out of nowhere and i flicked like this and i made sure to you know aim like a certain way i don't know it's just i don't know how to explain it but yeah this fingertip grip is fucking godly so yeah whatever that's probably all i have to say but yeah i would recommend uh this artisan raid in mid make sure you get xl and uh, yeah, it's fucking sick. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Okay, peace, peace, peace.